People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Jackson versus Wright. You all have been married a year and a half, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Met on Facebook? Yes. But you're already here in our courtroom. Mm. Tell me why you have brought your wife to our court. I believe my wife is cheating on me because of my old ways or whatever, me being an ex thought. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's something I would do on me. How, like, how she react, how she does everything. It's like how the old me would have been doing things, like when I was sneaking, doing things behind other females back or whatever. You know the deal because you used to be the deal. Yes, yes, ma'am. So you ran the women. Yeah, I really didn't care about no females' feelings or none of that. And it's like, when I, I, I honestly changed my ways completely when I met this young lady. I, I mean, this is the first female that I've ever been with that I've never cheated on Ooh. in life. Wow. So you met her and you hung up your player shoes. Basically, yes, ma'am. All right, so As what a, kind of game did you bring to that the player said, I'm, I'm out? I showed him something different. <laughs> oh, I guess he did. She did that. Yeah. All right, so you all meet on Facebook. How did you go from just uh, online to actual meeting? Our first date was very interesting. Like I say, I was a thought. <laughs> <laughs> I had two Facebook accounts at the time. Both of them with my, real, with my government name, Marquevious Rodriguez Cortez Jackson. Uh, no, <laughs> that is uh, but, yeah. 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 But on this page, I had... I was in a relationship with one girl, and on this page, I was in a relationship with another girl. But we had... Me and her had just started talking. So she was my real-life girlfriend. All right. Our first date, we're, we're gassing up, getting ready to go to the movies or whatever, and I see one of my Facebook girlfriends. So I introduced them. Like, you want to introduce me to a Facebook girlfriend? I introduced like, them really? like, Alicia, this is my Facebook girlfriend. Facebook girlfriend, this is my real life girlfriend. <laughs> so you just, because that's, that's how the Jill thoughts was proud of it. It, was, it wasn't that I was proud of it or whatever, because a Facebook girlfriend, that was nothing. I mean, that's why I introduced her as my real life girlfriend. This was the first person that I was feeling. How did you tame this player? There are women out there who need to know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, excuse yes, me. I got him to going out on dates. He was buying gifts just because gifts. Like, I could be at work, he will bring flowers, cards, everything. At some point, if I want to go hang out, he would stay in the house with my son to wow. keep the... in it, like, it was everything. All right. So, woman to woman, you held the goodies, didn't you? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I, let me just say that louder so the world can hear. You held the goodies. Yeah. What, and when you held the goodies, he was chasing you. Yeah. All right, there's a lesson, ladies. There's the lesson? a lesson. The, the lesson? lesson. The hey, lesson, cause, love. Cause the fellas want to know, too. What's hey, the excuse lesson? me. The men want to chase, uh -huh. and they don't want you to just give in. They want to chase you a little bit. Women give in too soon. It's just what your mama taught you. Hold up. Make them wait for it. Make them earn it. Excuse me, oh. e e excuse me, y'all. Can I say something? Oh. All right. Of course. Even after the fact that she held the goodies, when I got the goodies, that, that still continued. It wasn't just her. It was in me. You yeah, were well, It's what I wanted to do. She uh, had a hook in it. <laughs> yeah. She just like... But you were out there. I mean... I mean, yeah, you, I mean... You were thought delicious. You were out there. <laughs> thought delicious. delicious. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, you thought delicious. <laughs> and this woman comes by and says... No, you got to earn my respect. You got to earn me. Yeah. I mean, I let her know how I was. I let her know my past. I mean, it wasn't no secrets. I told her about me doing this and that to this female, that female, whatever. And it's like, it wasn't the fact that she was okay with it. It's just the fact that she was okay with the fact that that was the past. And so, you did a complete turnaround. Yes, sir. And you said this is the first woman that you've never cheated on? Never cheated on. I've been but, tempted, but temptation... You've you been married, what, 20... 20 28 plus years? 28 years we've been 20 married. 20 plus years. Yeah. You, you know temptation is a mug, but... Temptation's it, out it, there. It takes a strong person to fight that temptation. And you a fought very, it. And I feel like I'm You've a never cheated on her. Because I can... I, I fought it, and I'm still fighting it to this day. Mm -hmm. All right. But now, you're worried that the game is being played on oh, you. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, now, what are the warning signs? The warning signs, all right, like, how secretive she is with her phone. Me seeing her texting all day, I'm looking at your phone, ain't nothing there. And, like, okay, 
random numbers will pop up. She, I don't know who that is, or that ain't nothing. It's nobody. And I'm like, okay, if there's nobody, then who is it or whatever? One time, um, this random number that came up, I asked her about the number. She didn't know who it was at that time. So a few months go by, the number show back up. I type the number in Facebook. The name pops up. Okay, she said, oh, that's her ex-boyfriend. But at first, you ain't know who this was. I mean, this person texting you behind my back, you got to text and erase everything that you talk about. It's something more than just how you doing and all that. All right, Ms. Wright, he says he knows the cheating playbook, and you running it. I'm not. Yeah, I did. I was texting him, but it wasn't nothing. We were just catching up old times and everything, but it wasn't nothing like we were trying to get back together or anything. This shouldn't be present, past, future, or nothing. He shouldn't come up, point blank, period. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me ask you something. This is an ex-boyfriend. Yes. And you're having continuing conversation with him, texting? Yes, ma'am. Do you call him? Yes. Does he call you? Yes. Does he text you back? Yes. Okay. I'm a married woman. Mm-hmm. You a married woman. Yes, ma'am. That's not how you should be dealing with men. That's not in the marriage playbook. Okay. One more incident about the signs of her cheating. Yes, like, sir. Okay, this is recently. It's a thing called the September Festival. We, we chill all that night. At 2 o'clock in the morning, she tell me, me and my cousin about to go to the club. At first, I was like, why couldn't I go? Then I said, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna let you go. You go with your cousin. I rolled off, but I come back. Her cousin's pulling off. She's not in the car. This being my wife, I'm suspicious. Plus, I called her. I constantly called. No answer. Couple hours later, she texts me, asks me where I'm at. Now, it's 2 o'clock when she got ripped, when she left me. These booty call hours. Like, what's up with this? Why you couldn't answer the phone when I called you? Because I was... Loud music, everything. Loud All music, right. everything. But... All right, Miss Wright. At 2 a.m. when you go into the club, you told him you were going with your cousin. Did you go to the club with your cousin? Yes. All right. How did you end up not with your cousin? I was with my cousin. He okay, saw he your cousin so... drive off without, without you. you. Yeah. I was with... Well, I was with my cousin and I got dropped off with my friend. With a friend okay. that... Oh, a friend that she said, wait, I wait, 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 wait. Girlfriend. I got dropped off with my girlfriend that was in town. So, you're not <laughs> buying this. I mean, I know, I'm, I know the guy. And, okay, so she left with her friend. Okay, a couple hours later, she, she texts me, asks me where I'm at. I call her, no answer. You can't answer the phone when you with your friend. I call back, no answer. Okay, she texts me, say, come let me in the house. If you left with your friend, common sense, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. It's 5 by now. Your friend will sit in this car in front of your house, make sure you sit here so you can get in the house. So you believe she, a man drove up and she couldn't have yeah, you come out? I honestly do. And you believe that she was at the club with somebody I, other than her I, I, friend? I don't even believe she was at the club. I went <laughs> to the club. You went to the club I, and didn't I, see I wasted her. some money that I could have kept in my pocket if she would have answered the phone and been honest. Miss Wright, were you with a man or were you with your friends? My friend. Okay, but I can't even believe that. You look off to the side, like... I'm gonna ask you again. You're here to tell the truth. Were you with a man or a woman? A man. <laughs> so you were with a man? Yes. You weren't with your cousin? No. You weren't with a female friend? No. You were with a man? Yes. Was this an ex-boyfriend? No. Why did you tell your husband who you were with? I just didn't want him to know where I was. So here's the deal. Was this a man you had been intimate with? No. Ever? No. What, what you got to hide? I don't got to hide nothing. You clearly do. If you didn't tell him, hey, my friend is in town, I'm going to the club with him. I, I gotta say, my, Mr. Cutler, can I do that? Can I go to the club with my friend? Your female friend? Sure. No, no, no. You know, just a friend. He's a guy. He says he's just a friend. He says he's just a friend. Wait, wait, stop. <laughs> I mean, would you be comfortable with that? If it's somebody I know, if okay. it's a friend that I know of... You let me go to the club with him at 2? Yeah, not at 2 in the morning. I, I'm not sure. Nothing's open at 2 o'clock in the morning except when ain't supposed to be open. Oh. All right, now, Miss Wright, the evidence is mounting up. You've got these Facebook messages, 
text messages. You're lying about going to the club. You're lying about being with your cousin. You're not cheating on Mr. Jackson. No, I'm not. You're not sleeping with other men. No, I'm not. This is all in his head. All in his head. So these are just accusations. Yes. Well, to better understand what it's like to be accused of being a cheater, we have a friend of the court here, Ms. Lisa Wu, a former housewife of Atlanta. Ron, would you please escort our next witness in? Yes, Your Honor. How are you? I'm great. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Miss Wu, it's been publicized that you were accused of cheating. Mm -hmm. How did that feel? You feel like you can't move. You can't do anything, mm -hmm. you know? And a lot of the times, it's because you're projecting that on the person because you said you were thought, right? Man. So you've been thoughting in the wilderness. Been like, you've been, you know, <laughs> you've been just doing your thing, right? So sometimes it comes from a place of being paranoid, but also you're making her feel uncomfortable that she has to hide certain things. But I want to say this to you. What you've been doing in a marriage is totally inappropriate. Like, you're feeding his insecurities. Like, totally. You're feeding them. And I honestly feel like it's just karma coming back to bite me in my tail. So my question is, have you actually ever cheated? No. I was married twice, but never cheated. But, you know, their behavior was like, oh, my, I just really love this man. And I, you know, but he always constantly... It was like, you're cheating. You know, I, I, if I didn't pick up the phone on the first ring, crazy stuff. Looking at messages. I, I took a lie detector test, pass it. <laughs> so you underwent a polygraph examination? Absolutely. I knew well, that I was innocent, so I was like, okay, let's do it. Well, we've done a full investigation also, and our private investigator is here with the results. Ron, please escort Mr. Patrick Coffey into the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Coffee, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. Tell us what you've done to investigate today's case. A member of our team conducted a full forensic analysis of Ms. Wright's phone. So what did you find? On the day in question when Ms. Wright disappeared, we recovered her phone log. As you can see, she missed a total of 64 calls that day from her husband. 64 calls in one day from her husband? Yes, sir. And this is the night you were... She was with a guy other than her husband. That is the day in question, Your Honor. Yes. How, Miss Wright, do you have your husband call you 64 times and not pick up the phone? And you're with another man. I don't know. What were you doing with this other man that you had your husband call you 64 times? Sitting up just talking. Well, that must have been some hellacious <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, you're shaking your head. Have you ever ignored phone calls when of you're course. with when woman A when someone else is trying to call you? I got my phone on airplane mode if I'm with another woman. I mean, <laughs> I'm not fit to even get them calls. All right. If you found out your wife was with another man having sex, then what? I mean, we got married for a reason, but at the same time, I'm nobody fool. I love her with all my heart. I'm in love okay. with her. But I'm not gonna sit up and be stupid. Oh. All right. Well, she submitted to a polygraph test, and we're going to find out what happened. Now, you're looking awfully worried. This man loves you. He has turned his life around for you. And if you've got something you've done... The only way you might have a chance, if you love him, to continue this is to tell the truth right now. Do you have something you need to say to your husband? Well... Do you have something you need to say to your husband? Well, no, because, I, I, like I said, I was with him, but then nothing happened. So the only thing, and you stick into this story, as bad as it looks is that y'all just sat around and talked and caught up. That's it. All right, we're gonna go to the results. Mr. Coffey, you asked Ms. Wright, since being married to Mr. Jackson, have you had sexual contact with any man other than Mr. Jackson? What was her response? She said no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined that she was being truthful. All right, 
You came here for answers. Well, I knew I wasn't doing nothing. I told him that I was just talking. That's it. All right. I mean, but what you talking about that you can't talk about with me? I mean, why... Um, let me jump in and ride with y'all. You can! <laughs> you could have. Okay, Miss Wright, I am so glad that you were telling the truth about those things. I really am. But I gotta tell you, you are gonna have to make some changes until you have built the appropriate trust with your husband. And frankly, Mr. Jackson, you getting your comeuppance. Yes, ma'am. What you've done in the past don't feel so good, does it? <laughs> no, it, it don't. Right. All right. Those skeletons are rattling in the closet. You can hear them. <laughs> but you can't allow your past and your suspicious nature mm -hmm. to impact your current relationship, your current marriage with her. Yes, sir. We have counseling available for you. We want you to take advantage of those resources. And as we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Yes, sir. Quarters adjourned.